Welcome to Extreme Scope. You all are doing well, keeping sound health. Have come up with one more important course, important questions for the course satellite communications for electronics and communication engineering under J and H for R E eighteen regulation. Hope you have already started your preparations for your end examination. If you haven't gone through these questions, where I am going to hide it, please do work out these questions and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And do share this content with your juniors so that may help them and reach them to in form of very important and one shot questions of all the courses of engineering. Have come up with few important questions and the course is two about two lengths. In structure, it has all the part about the derivations theory as well as some part of problems. Also, you need to work out even problems. Your students have come up with unit fives because you have already done with your mid examination too, where the preparations were done. Please do work out first four, three, and four, uh, the last unit so that you will be recollecting all the information which you have done for mid examination too. The first and foremost question I can give you is the tenth and the eleventh question. The question paper is all about the GPS features and its advantages. Orbit consideration and related to orbit, you are going to get one problem for sure. Coverage and frequency consideration with respect to low Earth orbit and geostationary satellite system is set with the topmost question, which may occur in 1080 this time. And the short questions also will be asked from this part later. Satellite capacity and state of spacecraft explain the terms traffic distribution and coverage. Equatorial versus elliptical versus molinear orbit is set to be the one of the important question where this will be asked the differences. Different signal transmitted by GPS satellite. As related to GPS satellite, you will be getting one question for sure, and the remaining part you are going to get one more. And do not expect direct and marked is a combination of five five split, dear students. It's all about the unit five, the question number ten, as well as eleven. Later, I've come up with the unit four. It's about VSATs. It's set with a very important question in the small edge station, as well as block diagram explain the general edge station or the typical edge station transmitter. Out of these two, you are going to get one question that may be in form of eighth as well as ninth question in your question paper, and the short. Question related to small earth station, and the later the ninth question is all about antenna mounts and the types and the differences and the part test methods and their types is set with the topmost question which may occur in the short as well as long this time tracking systems and the types and the differences is set with the topmost and one short question which may occur in nine b this time transmitter and receiver block diagram of an earth station is also said to be one of the long question if it is asked this is for the ten mark question dear students. This is all about the unit four, eighth and ninth question. I do not skip any part of the question where I am highlighting, and do not uh, forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And the next I have come up with the unit two. It is also a bit lengthy in structure, but we have your wait for the mid one. All these questions once again revise these topics so that you would able to work out very easily. And do not forget to write all the answers only in point wise and don't write in paragraph. And use pencils wherever the necessary diagrams, various satellite subsystems, their purpose, and the principal parameter. Out of this, this may be getting one question for sure, and that may be two, three, and the fourth and the fifth question in your question paper. Block diagram of control system of for a spinner satellite or onboard control system. Out of these two, you are getting one for sure. That may be in form of four A or four B operation of communication subsystem along with the block diagram and the role of transponder in SC. Draw diagram of a double convergent transponder fourteen. By 11 gigahertz band is set to be the topmost and gunshot if it is asked this was for 10 mark question dear students and the reflected antenna and the related to it a problem and the define this term that may be the short question later tracking subsystem along with the block diagram and 6 by 4 gigahertz communication subsystem is set to be the topmost question TT and C subsystem as well as space qualification factors on which antenna depends is set to be the topmost question types of redundancy connections to complete subsystem reliability and the various parameters in and around the satellite and measured using the telemetry is set to be the topmost and one short question which may occur in 5A 5B as well as this may be the short as well as long questions from the unit 2 dear students do focus even on unit 1 it is also two length in structure. It is all about the introduction, orbital effects in satellite communication, and the problems. Orbital parameters required to determine satellite's orbit and name them and explain it. Types of satellite orbits, subsatellite point, and the problem ascending and descending nodes is set to be the topmost question. Kepler's three law of planetary motion, various forces acting on the satellite in the orbit, and MMS function and BD of SC, and explain each block. This will be the short and long questions which may cover in 2AB as well as next. I'm going to work out 3AB and A2J. You are supposed to work out from this point. So, dear students, effects of sun and moon on satellite communication, geosynchronous and geostationary orbit, and AKM diagram, and their 
difference is said to be one of the very important in one short question sun synchronous and apogee and perigee their types and their differences look angles and derive the expression for azimuth and elevation angles summary of satellite communication in 21st century such type of general questions will be asked as uh, advantages and disadvantages of frequency bands and the segments in sat satellite architecture is said to be the top most question along with its diagram history of satellite communication with the short question and frequency ranges of short uh, satellite communication may also be the short question these are said to be the very important and short questions covered for the course satellite communication i mean sc for electronics and communication engineering under j2h for r18 as well as r16 regulation also and you can work out each and every parameter wherever i'm highlight if you're looking for any of the course do not forget to comment as well as share this content with your juniors too so that they may subscribe to my channel and do not forget to comment if you're looking for any other course good luck and god bless you all dear friends this is your chandrasekhar vichkuri signing off now thank you